Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no, no horse sing from there. <laughs> My name is Ralph Litwin. The show is Horses Sing None of It, and our guest today is Gary Paul Hermes. Welcome to the show, Gary. My pleasure, Ralph. Well, that song gives me images of a whole soul band. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, well, I try to make my hands do as much as I can get them to do. <laughs> this is the nice thing about finger picking. You get a lot of mileage out of your fingers. Do you, uh, do you consider that that is a soul song, or do you... How, I think of it more like a traditional, you know, like, bluesy tune, you know, like, it's, it's got a lot of Delta influence in, in the early part. But then you're right, you break into that middle section, and it really has, um, you know, Detroit written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so a mixture. Yeah. So uh, tell us how you... How did you get interested in music and start out and, oh, my and goodness. where you are? Well, I, I started out playing piano as a little kid, um, and that got lost somewhere around Cub Scouts. I had to make a choice, and 
I don't know that that was the wisest one, but I did. Um, and uh, then moved into guitar in my teens, because let's face it, you know, in your teens it was so cool to be a rock and roller, and that's what I did. Then I taught myself how to finger pick, basically to impress a girl, of course. And um, then I got uh, sidetracked into all kinds of different music. I played with club date bands, I played with Brazilian bands and Afro-Cuban bands and all kinds of great stuff, uh, but wanted to write and um, finally got around to doing that. And that brings me to this. Great. Well, give us another one of your tunes. Then. Okay, great. <laughs> this is one of those, you know, you write some tunes that go five minutes, they're done. This isn't one of those. This <laughs> one took like 12 years to <laughs> go from the first image to when I finally said, oh, it's done. It's called Miles from Canaan. And the leaves like crimson dying embers Waltz across the rivers and the timber The years drift by like so much rain And now I'm still miles from Canaan Watcher, perched in my high tower as I watch the fiery sunset fade away. The clouds cast their glow on the horizon in below, rolling like a river in the rain. I am the fire watcher, I watch the fire of autumn as it burns across the mountains and the plain. Dancing like candlelight against the cold dark night, crackling in the wind just like a flame. And the leaves like crimson dying embers, waltz across the rivers and the timber. The years drift by like so much rain, and I'm still miles from Canaan. I am the fire watcher, I left the gilded towers and the canyons where shadows hide the sun. Fleeing the maddening pace, looking for a peaceful place, shake off the cynic I've become. I am the fire watcher, I watch the fire of heaven and the chimney smoke against the sky. Watching for the wild flame in a place where nobody knows my name. Still just a stranger in their eyes. And the leaves like drinks and dying embers. Walks across the rivers and the timber. The years drift by like so much rain. And I'm still miles from Canaan. Yes, I I am the fire watcher, parched in my high tower, facing all the winter on my own. The geese never stay too long, they rest a while and then they move on, smart enough to know this ain't their home. I am the fire watcher, I watch the fire of autumn burning down to the ash of winter snow. I've wasted another year trying to overcome my fears, knowing all the while that I should go. And the leaves like crimson dying embers, walked across the rivers and the timber. Like so much rain, and I'm still my protein. Yes, I'm still mild. Oh, I'm still mild. The years drift by like so much rain, and I'm still mild. Miles. 
I'm impressed. In this heat, too. Now, you seem to write in a lot of different styles, do you? Yeah. Do you uh, have a system? Do you write the music first, or the words first, or do you? Um, each song together? winds up being different. This one, I wrote words in pieces over a span of time, and then somewhere in the middle, the melody started to develop. Um, Blood Red Moon wrote itself coming over a hill on Bloomfield Avenue, I think. It's like, I saw the moon, the song was written. M words, music, bang. Cool. Now give us another one. Well, here's one. Ooh. This is one that gets, you know, God bless, uh, you know, wives. They, they drive you to you know, better heights. This one was like on a dare, you know, my wife said, all right, so what's the next thing you're going to write? And I said, uh, and then started it. She said, okay, well, what's, what's the rest of it? Um, it's called Caridad Christmas. Staring out the window of the Caridad Cafe, watching lovers pass on Upper Broadway. And he sipped at his espresso, but his mind was miles away, lost in all the chances that he'd blown. And the snow drifts by the frozen window as it settles on the road to Central Park. Our despair is so much darker in December And the holidays can't mend a broken heart She was leaning on the counter She was adding up a bill but her eyes were on the couple at the table And her heart was filled with yearning As they murmured soft and still And she had to turn her head to hide a tear And the snow drifts by the frozen window As it settles on the road to Central Park My despair is so much darker in December and the holidays can't mend a broken heart. to blow and the people start to go and the snow begins to swirl on upper broadway only two people stay at the caridad cafe and closing time is still an hour away she brought over two espressos she said here yeah, this one's on me and he said, you must be tired, won't you join me? And I spoke of how on holidays it's hard to be alone. And as she locked the door, he took her hand. And the snow drifts by the frozen window as he listens to her breathing in the dark. Oh, despair is so much darker in December without someone there to mend a broken heart.
Thank you. Beautiful. We should tell folks how to get in touch with you in case they want to find out more information about your recording or your yes, touring yes. schedule. The what? easiest way to get a hold of me is through my website. Um, my email address is hermesgp at garypaulhermes.com. And naturally, the website is www.garypaulhermes.com. I have all my um, postings for uh, performances and things like that on there. Great. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really like to hear the man with the black chapeau sometime. Right now. This is a song that, um, I mean, it's a, what I like about it, it's a song about a nice guy who doesn't finish last. <laughs> That's what I like about the song. Well, it's the man in the black chapeau The one all the ladies know When he walks into a room See their faces light up They glow like a candle in a paper cup Yes, it's the man in the black chapeau Who sits there on the Twitter so And when he goes on his way They all say, hey, hey there goes the man in the black chapel. Now once there was a man who was a real straight shooter, but he couldn't get the time of day. Every lady that he'd meet would say, can we be friends? Sorry, but I don't think of you that way. His heart was always broken till an old fella told him, son, clothes make the man. Gonna take you downtown to a second-hand store. Boy, we're gonna find you a plan. They found a set of threads that called his name and a nasty hat that caught his eye. And when he put it on his head, the sales lady said, My, 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 ain't you one hell of a guy? Say you're the man in the black chapeau. Kind of man I'd like to know Said you can't pick me up at eight We'll go out for a day Let me call my mama Tell her I'll be home late Yes, it's the man in the black chapel Who makes me want to get up and go And when my friends all ask me Who is he? Can't you see that he's the man in the black chapel? Now girls you better cover your hearts, he's got him standing in line. They all want to take his arm and sample his charms, cause he knows how to have a good time. And girls, you know I bet you when he comes out to get you, you'll be stepping on out in style. And when he gives you that way, just like he knows what you think, he just loves to see the lady smile. Yes, it's the man in the black chapel. The one all the ladies know. When he walks into a room, see their faces light up. They glow like a candle in a paper cup. Yes, it's the man in the black chapel. Who sets their heart to Twitter so. And when he goes on his way, they all say, hey, hey, there goes the... There goes the... There goes the man in the black chapel. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I love it. <laughs> hey, give us another one. Okay. Um, how about... Okay. This is one of my older ones. It has to do with the, uh, the idea that most folk singers got to have at least one song about being sad. It just goes with the territory, I think, because they have a lot of time when they're sad, so they write. And when they're happy, they're busy doing whatever it is that makes them happy. So here's one of those. Another sad singer sings another sad song. He sings of his sorrow since the day she moved on, he sings with his heart, he 
sings with his soul, sings through the static on my radio. The road's like a river, the hour before dawn. The white lines enfold you like a sweet lover's arms. They rock you to sleep with murmurs so sweet. Ease all the burdens you carry me. Oh, road be my lover, oh, road be my friend. I've lost yet another, and I'm strong out again. Road be my lover, road be my friend. Her name was Melinda, her hair was like fire, my heart burned like tinder, a flame with desire. She'd sleep in my arms as soft as a fawn, and there she takes shelter so safe and warm. My heart soared like summer with no thought to fall. But cold, windy autumn blew dark in her soul. Then came the morn, I woke up alone, a heart full of empty, and this road I'm on. Oh, road be my lover, oh, road be my friend, I've lost yet another, and I'm strong out again. Road be my lover, road be my Another sad singer sings another sad song. He sings of his sorrow since the day she moved on. And here comes the dawn to find me alone, a heart full of envy, and this road I'm on. Oh, road be my lover. Oh, road be my friend, I've lost yet another, and I'm strong out again. Road be my lover, road be my friend. Now you've got a very unique style. Are there any artists that you consider our influences? <clears throat> oh gosh, um, writing. Joan Joni Mitchell just was like my original. I wanted to be the male Joni Mitchell. Of course, at that point I was writing very pretentious adolescent stuff, but I wanted to be Joni Mitchell. Guitar-wise, I taught myself how to finger pick listening to Joan Baez records and Judy Collins. Um, stuff like that. Uh, now, though, you know, the influence is just coming from all over. You know, Patty Larkin, Peter Mulvey, just there's so many great writers. And um, musically, I'd like to think I just found my little niche. You know, that my, my hands do what they do. Actually, I challenge them with each song. You know, it's like I try to do something more. My ear hears it, and now I say, okay, hands. Time to figure it out. <laughs> you have some very intricate uh, finger work there. Thank you. Very nice stuff. Well, we have 
about four and a half minutes till well, the credits roll. What do you think? Shall we give relocating my situation a whirl or? Sure. Yeah, okay. Why don't we tell folks one more time how to get in touch with you? Yes. Please, if you want to get information on what I'm doing, just write me at hermosgp at garypolhermos.com or you can go to my website. There's a link there, www.garypolhermos.com. Write me and I'll be glad to write you. <laughs> Well, almost made it through. Let's have that G. I think it'll work. This is a song about obsessive love gone wrong. <laughs> uh, I have to admit I wrote it from the male perspective, but I give full credence to the fact that it could go the other way by gender. It just happens that I'm not the other gender, so <laughs> I wrote the song from this perspective. It's called Relocating or Relocating My Situation. Thanks for joining us, Gary. My pleasure, Ralph. I'm relocating my situation. Gotta get away from you. Relocating my situation, what did you expect me to do? Every man has got his limitations, and every dog has got to have his day. So I'm relocating my situation, girl, I gotta get away. I'm relocating my situation, don't you come around my door. I'm relocating my situation, that's what the order of protection is for. That little stunt that you pulled at the office was not appreciated by my boss. So I'm relocating my situation, do us both a favor, get lost. Go send detectives to find my home. 